Hey fam, this is Pastor Bronfield from Mount Zion Pilgrim, and today is a very special day. Over three years ago, I was um, elected pastor of Mount Zion Pilgrim, and it was an humbling experience, and you know, it's just, my God, how does time fly? I was just thinking, just three years ago, we started on the journey. We have ups and downs, but you know what? As we are faithful to God, God is more so faithful to us. And I just want to just stop by and tell you that even in this short period of time, we're going to do a homegoing celebration of a dear sister, Sister Johnny Golden, this Friday at 11. And we just want to encourage you right now to remember that only what we are going to do for Christ, the things that we do to uplift his kingdom, those are the things that matter. We need to make sure we keep our eyes on how we are helping and how we are serving others. I just want to encourage you this morning because God is truly setting us up for a greater day, for a greater vision, for a greater purpose. You have no idea that your best days are yet to come. I'm just reminded of the one with the issue of blood. The Bible says that she had told herself, if I be but touched the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. She made a declaration that if I get to his hem, it didn't matter how I got there. If I crawl to get there, if I get dirty to get there, if I had to push people away to get there, I just need to get to Jesus. And I'm telling somebody today, you need to get to Jesus today. He is going to give you exactly what you need to handle the situations in your life. And I just want to encourage you, don't be comfortable where you are when God has something greater for you. I'm reminded that God is moving us to higher places. I'm reminded that God wants us to excel in life. And you know what that means? That means you must get out of your comfort zone. You must grab hold of your life and say, Lord, where you want to take me, you can take me. I'm no longer fighting. I am no longer challenging. I am submitting my will to your will. Do you remember when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane? He was praying. And part of his prayer was this. It's one of my favorite prayers because it said, Father, if it's your will, let this cup pass from me. He said, but nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. In other words, it showed me that the incarnate Son of God, God manifest in the flesh, Emmanuel, God tabernacle with us, had a moment in his life where his will did not line up with the master's will. But guess what? He was wise enough to know that says, even though my will doesn't line up with his in this moment, I'm submitting minds to his. And someone you're fighting, you're struggling, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff, and it just isn't working out for you right. You've got to learn how to submit your will to the master's will. Can I tell you something? I'm excited about life. I'm excited about ministry. I'm excited about what God is doing in and through us because you know what? We're doing Love 300. We have some other things coming down the pipeline. You know why? Because God wants us to go to a higher place in Him. I am not limited by what I am experiencing right now, but I'm excited because God says He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. You know what that simply means? That simply means for you right now that you have what it takes to get up and to change your life, to move it to another place. Get up. Stop making excuses. Get up. Reinvigorate yourself. Get a new focus. Get a new challenge. Because you know what? We're doing Love 300. We want people to know that we just don't say we're saved. We want people to know that we're living out the mission of touching people's lives with the love of God. We're blessing people. We're praying for people. We're helping people that are in need. You know why? Because we are the body of Christ. And if we don't do it, I'm not looking for anybody else to do it. That's why we're telling Covington. We love you. We're telling our families. We love you. We're telling our friends. We love you. And I just want to say this. You know what that means? We had to take some time out in our life. And we had to say, you know what? I had to get some things right. People think I'm not, I'm not moping. I'm not sad. I'm not beating myself up or beating anybody else. But you know what? Mistakes are made in 
people's lives. But guess what? Mistakes are not fatal. And they do not have to be final. So you know what? I started afresh. I started to do. I received the new beginning in my life. And you need to receive the new beginning in your life. So you know what? I may not have always done it. I may not have always done it right. But guess what? I could get up and I'm fighting another day. And I know greater is coming for you. I know better is coming for you. I know that you're going to experience the power of God like never before. Because you are dedicating your life. To walk wholeheartedly with our Lord and with our God. Can I just pray for you just for one moment? Father, I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister. I pray for the young lady. I pray for the older lady, God. I pray for the young man. I pray for the older gentleman, God. I pray right now, God. That they realize today in this moment that you have never left their side. That you are a very present help. In the time of trouble. Father, I pray now that they find peace. They find comfort. They find solace in you. That they will know that you are not a God that's afar off. But you are a God that is near. You are a God that is concerned about their life. And you are a God that is going to bless them. To increase them. Father, I encourage that mother. I encourage that father. I encourage that sister. I encourage that brother right now, God. Move in their life like never before. That they will know. That Jesus is still Lord. That you are still God. Father, bless them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, if you don't have anything to do tonight, if you don't have a church service of your own to go to, you can join us for a powerful time of prayer. Begin at 6 30. We have sessions beginning at 7 p.m. It promises to change your life. Meet us at 409. West 30th Avenue in the beautiful city of Covington, Louisiana. Guess what? We're going to the top together because we are living this thing by love. I love you. God bless you. Peace.